we're going to draw a picture of a close-up of a toucan in a rainforest, and this artwork is inspired by the artist Henri Rousseau. To start this drawing, we're going to draw a curved line for the belly of our toucan. We're not going to draw the whole toucan, we're going to put him in some leaves so it looks like he's sitting in a tree. Now we're going to work on the neck, and the neck is a U shape. And then going off of that U shape, we're going to go up and make the head a rounded shape and then back down to the other side of our U. Draw a small curved line for the back of the toucan. And then up on the top of the head, we're going to draw another rainbow shape. It's like half of a rainbow. And this is going to be um, part of the toucan's head too. Now for the beak, a huge beak for a toucan. And then go a little further down and draw the bottom of the beak and match it up with the first line that you drew for the beak. And then a line down the middle so it looks like the beak would can open. Draw an eyeball. Under the eyeball, we're going to draw a little bit of a U shape. Our toucan has two different colors on his head, so we need to have that line there for the two different colors. Right, now we're going to start adding leaves. So we're going to draw some leaves that our toucan looks like he's sitting on in a tree. Simple leaf shape. Then we're going to work on overlapping. One leaf is behind the other. So this second leaf is going to go behind the other leaf as so we cannot see the rest of it. And it also goes behind the toucan. So think about overlapping when you're drawing your leaves. One is on top of the other. next set of leaves, see if you can make them look different than the first set of leaves. So we're going to go to the other corner. I'm going to draw pointy leaves in this one so they look different than the first ones I drew. But I'm still going to use overlapping. One is on top of the other. We're going to go up to the top corner of our paper and we're going to draw a different kind of leaf. So these ones kind of look like my first ones, but I'm making them fatter. And again, I'm going to make them look like they're overlapping, like one goes behind the other. And you'll notice that they go behind the toucan's beak. So the toucan's beak is in front of the leaves. We're going to add some details to our leaves. Veins to our leaf, they can be straight veins, um, curved veins, in my pointed leaves I'm going to draw another pointed part to my leaf so it looks completely different than my other leaves. So it's the same shape but smaller triangle shapes but they get smaller. And for my leaves on top I'm going to do kind of a zigzag line for the inside of my leaves to separate the leaf into two parts. Then 
there's one last part I forgot to draw on my toucan beak, a curved line towards the end of his beak that separates his beak into two colors, the top part of his beak into two colors. And now we're going to start coloring the picture for our toucan. You can use crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever you have available. You can use whatever colors you want. I'm starting with my leaves. Notice that it looks kind of messy, but I'm filling it in with crayons so there's no more white space left. It gives even more of a zigzag pattern to my leaves and makes them more exciting. So go ahead and color. Do a good job. Use good craftsmanship. Use whatever colors you would like. Something I want you to notice while I'm coloring. I'm using markers, crayons, in a little bit I'm going to use colored pencils. That way I can have lots of different greens. So if you only have one green marker, only one green crayon, and only one green colored pencil, you can add a lot of difference to your leaves by using all three.
you start coloring your toucan, you can use whatever colors you want. I'm going to be using co colors that are close to what a toucan looks like. So if you want to have yours look more realistic, please copy my colors. If you want to make your toucan any colors you want, go right ahead. my toucan's beak colored yellow. I'm going to use a different technique of putting colored pencil on top of the marker to create a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of an orange color on the toucan's beak. <laughs> 